All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on to episode 11 for today. And in the last episode, I talked about how to be very far ahead of your opponents and your teammates to position for the best for your team. Now it was very clear I was playing very different to my teammates and opponents because there were a lot of comments like this one that said it was really weird watching the gameplay because it was basically a bunch of people flopping around and trying to go as fast as possible. And I was being calm, cool, and collected. So we're gonna take that approach going into 3v3 today. We're in plat two division two. We're only doing 3v3, like I said from the last episode, I'm gonna take a break from twos because we are at champ one so far. Let's hope Hopefully get into diamond here uh, probably in the next episode or two and then we'll move back to 2v2. But speaking of comments, we have to do the meme of the day. And today we have the suggestion of Turbo Polka by Sumide Ravenclaw. Hopefully I didn't botch that pronunciation, but now let's try making this thing. Okay, so I found this amazing photo of an accordion player and I actually found a perfect angle of Turbo Pulsa looking the exact same way. So hopefully I can just blend this in and make it work. So I think step one is I want to grab Turbo's head. Okay, I think we just stick them right there. And honestly, I'd be able to keep them with the ponytail there, I think, at the back. Give them a little little business up front party in the back, you know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of works out pretty nicely already, I think. Let's just hide Turbo for a second. Let's grab the shirt. There we go. Bring Turbo's head back. And need to erase some of this. I mean, it already kind of looks good. <laughs> um... What do I want to do with this? Gotta have some music notes, right? <laughs> Pretty easy one, but I'm happy with this. It looks nice. There it is, Turbo Polka. All right, so because we are queuing threes only, we got a 3v3 game, but we have a bunch of diamond, platinum, and gold winners in this lobby. Very wide range. Go for a 50-50 here. Looks like they might have the ball in mid here. Both my teammates might be trying to go for this. Good try on the aerial. Actually ends up hitting it backwards. I'm just gonna sit behind my teammate here, wait for the next ball. This is over our head, but I'm gonna try and get in the way of this. Decent try, good opportunity from them as well. Pop out the side. I took mid boost. Now I'm just gonna loop wide because Bacano's coming in for a quick touch. I see both my teammates are kind of sitting on the side. I'm trying to stay with this. Now I can come in on this and hit it around the side. Even though my teammate did make a touch, he was kind of recovering. And in doing so, um, I knew I could come in and help him. Some people are definitely trying some aerials here, but um, nothing too scary so far. Good try on the flip. Wait for the extra touch. It does go across the net, but it looks like Bacano might still have this. Oh, oh, he's going for it. I like that. He tried to go for the pinch. Big miss. I'll go for an aerial, see if they can save it. Great save. So just, I knew I was in the position to make that that aerial, and as you get better at aerials, that'll be a more potent and dangerous shot. I'm gonna try and read this. Also, my teammate didn't quite trust me, so he went instead of me, but that's okay though. I had the spot. And once again, I'm gonna rotate wide. Awkward touches. I could go for this when my teammate's looking like he's in a backflip, so I'm just gonna wait. Still gonna wait, and now I can go for the clear. Let's see what Bacano do does here in the corner. A little dangerous spot, but great finish. It looks like Bacano's definitely the fastest player in the lobby. Um, but he's not always making the best decisions. Like, so he's definitely making decisions faster than other players, but um, not making the best touches and stuff like that. But that was a great shot. I'll come in for you, no worries. And now I can boost up to this and stay close to the ball. I boost to get close to the ball and then I make some sort of play. Obviously that wasn't a great flick, but that's the opportunity that you could have there is just staying really close to the ball. Hello teammate. And uh, keeping, keeping the ball close, make it difficult for the opponents to guess what you're going to do. Whoa. Okay, lots of possession because the ball rolls back here. So if you want to like take your time. All good, man. All good. All good. I'm going to do a pirouette and I'm back in position. Right, I'll be on this first. I'm just going to rush it. Take this corner boost. And then I'll back out. It looks like Santa Claus might boom this. Probably going to be in the possession of one of the opponents after this touch. Whoa. Zoom in. <laughs> I never know what this guy's gonna do. He's a, he's a wild card. Great shot opportunity. Uh, looks like I can go for this. I could have gone for it. It's fine if he wants to cut that, but that's a position where like your teammate would have had a better spot shooting that. Looks like Bacano tried to go for the shot. Decent attempt. Whoa, I don't know if he saw me there. I don't know if he was trying to touch the ball. I'm trying to try and bump one or something. You can see that's very, very strong. If you're in a position where the, the ball is going to go over your head or a car is going to go past you, you can always use that time and space to go for a bump. Good. This is going to bounce off the wall and I can stay close to here. 
Try to go for a 50-50 of some sort. Hello, Bacano. I just took the boost because I was landing there, but it's a good try. That's going to be in. It's a nice pinch by them. I didn't expect my teammate to push up with me on that boost right there because I, I was slipping towards the ball. Yeah, he's turning on every ball. You can see Bacano's trying to get on every single one of those balls, but he just needs to allow his teammate to kind of come close and make a play for him. You see we're at the bottom of the leaderboard. We're not doing too much. We're kind of just staying reliable third at times. That's going to be a boom over. Should be Santa Claus here. He really should be pushing up. You need to get in there, buddy. Here you go. Go ahead. Great shot. That might just be in. Beautiful. I gave him a little, a little, uh, little tap forward. <laughs> Give him the motivation to move forward. Okay, a little scary. They might both. Oh, they all went for it. Get behind my teammate. Okay. Leave that boost just in case one of them wants it. They're both kind of waiting for that ball. See, so I'm just kind of scanning left and right. I'm not going for any play immediately. Because in that situation, if anything goes poor and it goes over my head, sorry, I was yawning, by the way. That's why it took so long to answer. It was like an awkward silence. Um, that's why it took, I, I just take my time in that midfield as third man. I see both my teammates in the far corner. Something could go wrong there and it could go over my head. So I don't want to be pushing up any further. I just make sure I see any clear potential clears that are coming out from the opponents. All right, we have the replay watchers. Let's see if they actually are true to their name. And we have Poison Bassoon with Tides of Chaos on my team. So I see my teammates cheating up, so I can immediately go for the back corner boost. That's a great shot. Just a great shot. It's a great, great placement off the ball. Bullseye kind of uh, hit the brakes, kind of was scared of the shot. Honestly, in that situation, because he's, he's kind of screwed either way, the best thing to do is try to close off any gap as possible and just run up to that ball and try to stop any shot from coming. The further back you are from a shot, the harder it is to cover all the angles. So right here, somebody needs to push up, which is perfect. Uh, I go for a clear here off the wall. Did they watch the replay, by the way? I can't remember if they did. Off the corner, should be uh, this guy to touch the ball first. And I go for a challenge. See how I kind of just wait patiently for them to make a mistake or pass the ball out. Now I am last here. So I'll be a little bit careful. Good 50. I can't chase this down. I should, I should be able to like, pressure this. Hmm, that's a great flick. Are they going to watch the replay? Oh, two of them skipped it. Nice challenge. I'm going to wait for this bounce. And then go for a high touch off the backboard. And both my teammates are really far back. That's okay, though. Really got to play from the opponents. Oh. It's off the backboard, but I see that no one's really in a good position to shoot this. All three players went. Go for a shot, see if they can save it. Great clear. Good got opportunity. Oh, it's a little scary because my teammate kind of went over aggressive. Oh, good play. I'm going to wait in mid here. Should be able to stay with this. Big miss. Should be a shot for me. And there we go. It's, it's been a pretty slow game. A, a couple of outplays from the opponents that are really good dribbling and stuff. But big miss there will give us an opening. I have to score that because I'm just in a good position there. I really should be scoring that. And if you if you want to be moving into diamond, the thing about like this series, right? People are like, you're not playing like a platinum player. I'm, I'm trying to show like what it, you know, what you could be doing to play like a player who wants to get out of plat. Because in order to become diamond, you have to play like a diamond player, not a plat player. I, I'm just missed this. See what happens. Stay close. You can take the boost. Now I am last man here, but it's going to be a, a, a fine touch off the wall if I just go for it immediately. You can kind of get a good read on whether that's going to bounce or not um, or roll. And that was a roller. So I knew that was going to roll. Good save. I like. I see these guys like to dribble. I'm going to try to make a backflip in the corner here to st stay close to the ball. And then a flick. And now this guy is last man, so I know that. He might challenge. I'm going to hit off the backboard. Hopefully somebody's ready. Decent try. Just trying to start putting those off the backboard, see if my teammate can, uh, can get in the way. Good follow from them. 
That's a great pass. Great shot. Oh, off my teammate. That's a great play to he keep that close off the backboard. If you feel like you don't know what to do with that situation, either try to go to backboard early, or if you can't do that, try to watch where the, the players in midfield are passing it to. Or they're trying to pass the player in midfield, right? So, uh, oh, no one went. Off target here. Big clear. I can rush this down. It's the last man uh, in net, so panicked a little bit. See if they just pop it to me. That's a really good speed from uh, Shalingus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Great pass. I knew that once I saw the player hit, hit it forward here, I had space to just make some sort of catch. I did not expect Bullseye to go so early, though. I thought he was going to stay in net. So I was kind of just catching it, and then when I saw him barrel past me, it was kind of open. Good try. There we go. Now I can go up on this unless he wants it. He doesn't want it. Okay, that's fine. Clear to the corner. Looping behind my teammates. They're pretty defensive, so I'm trying to get a good read on where I should position with them. Do you want this? Good clear. I can go up for this. I'm going to sit behind my teammates. I got 60 boost. thought he wanted that boost. Two players are up off the sidewall. Should we make this teammate should be moving up, right? It's up in the air. He's going for it. Oh, there it is. Not a bad second game. I feel like the opponents were definitely higher skill than our team, maybe. Um, they definitely had better team plays, and they were partied up, so maybe they are communicating a little more, obviously. Um, but that will be Platinum 3. What division is it, though? Division 2 already. So we're pretty close. Pretty close to Diamond 1. I don't feel like those guys were truly watching every replay, but, you know, I like the name. It's pretty funny. Um, so far, we've talked a lot about just, you know, where to position w where with the, with the opponents. I'm also trying to, like, gauge with my teammates each game what kind of play style they like to go for and try to play around that. As you can see, sometimes it's pretty awkward because you're not sure if your teammate's going to be the one to move forward. Ooh, a big yawn again for me. <laughs> but uh, either way, like it's just it's just a, a matter of uh, getting that fluid, fluid motion with your teammates. The more fluid, the better. And you're not always going to get it on the mark with your teammates every game, right? So you got to be a little bit careful. This is an awkward ball in the, in the mid or the corner here. See if one of my teammates can go for this. Great clear. I'm going to loop wide. Good save. See if Supreme can go on this. I'm going to wait mid here. Oh, good try. Oh, a little funky. I'm going to bump this guy if I can. Now there's space for my teammate. It's Captain America. Big misses and great shot. That was an awkward touch for my teammate. Um, and I, I went for a wall read off the side here without like going for a proper wall clear. Just like a front flip. I feel like those are hard to do unless you actually angle your car the way you want to. But that was a great play from them and a, a big mistake for my teammates. So I feel like that should be rewarded. Big clear on the field. Now this is an awkward ball in the mid uh, in the corner again. I keep calling corner mid for some reason. That should be one of my teammates to push this forward. Nice. Is he going for it? A decent try at the aerial. I'm here on the wall. And you see, they're not the greatest power off those touches unless you actually angle your car. Like angling your car to the perfect clear is going to be the best best way to get power on the the touches. Looks like Supreme might cut the last player here. It's actually flying off the corner. It's not in yet, but that's a great finish from Nasty Zero. So not the greatest 50-50. I thought he was going to jump a little bit earlier, but he ends up playing it a little bit too late. And uh, the 50 goes backwards. He definitely had a beat on that guy because he had to turn around. And, and turning around in this game, is it takes a lot of time. So if you have a player who's rushing, uh, someone who's facing backwards, more than likely they're going to probably win that. I'm going to wait mid here. That's not uh, quite mid enough. I think my teammate wants to go for this. Oh, good try. Go for an aerial here. going to be Aaron in the mid here. I'm just going to take the boost. Hopefully one of them can clear it over. Oh, good try on the 50. Got chips off the wall. And a nice shot. So not a, oh, he said great pass. I feel like he's, um, I feel like he's upset. 
They're up two goal. They're up one goal still. They're saying great pass. The space for my teammate here who cheated. Nice. What do they do here? I'm gonna go for this. See how I readjusted my flip. Um, to go for that. Let's see if we can get it. Good shot. Close. Do we finish for my teammate? And go on this. Take the boost, and I can reposition on this. Try to get force a 50-50. This spills into an awkward spot. Captain America! Let's go! Nice finish. Okay, I'm going to loop back here. Let my teammate go. Great cut. Off the wall. Now I can let this bounce if I want, because I'm st close to it. I'll wait here. I'm waiting right here because there might be a ball that clears way over. And it looks like my team is going to have it. I'm just going to back off. Close. Can't really tell who's going for this. I'm going to try and get in the way as soon as possible and just backflip. And my teammate go for this in the corner. I don't want to I don't want to over uh, like barrel into the ball where my teammate's also going. Oh. Decent clear off the side. This is uh, maybe mine or yeah, Supreme wants to take it. That's fine. Two players going now. I have space on the ball. Hit it to my teammate. Great chip. Oh, just a little bit off the mark, but maybe it's, maybe Captain America. Dude, honestly, Captain America. Great shooting. Great positioning. I hit it across to my teammate who just ended up missing the mark on the ball. But all you need to do there is just drive next to the ball because it's already on an angle where if he just drives next to it instead of he angled himself in towards the ball, he can just let the ball come to him. The one's going out for this. Looks like he might make a touch. Captain America, let's go. Getting behind him. I'm going to go for this. Not the greatest touch. As you can see, if it goes spills back in the mid when both your teammates are back, then it just gives them a free touch. Go for a clear. I kind of cut my teammate there. That's totally fine, though. I have nine boost. Take the boost for me. I'm going to go all the way back, back right here. Because there could be a big clear coming. My teammate should be able to turn on this, and I can be the new third. Good. Go on this. Ouch. The big miss touch. I'm going to try and bump this guy. There's lots of space for Captain America to hit a, a touch forward. We'll see he wants to stay with it. Nasty Zero hits it off the wall, and I'm going to back out. Let my teammate rotate in. Great touch. I'm going to try and rush this. Just pop a middle. Decent touch, but that's going to give them a free big clear. A little aerial across. Now I'm waiting on the backboard. See what they do here. And I can just do a jump. If, you, if Those are not the best clears if someone's waiting for it. All I got to do is wait on the wall there. If he pops it past me, that's going to be uh, trouble. But hopefully someone's covering that. Either way, not a bad play. There was a diamond player in our lobby, so not, not too bad. We're getting close. And for the final 3v3 game, we got another team. So this should be... I, I've noticed that whenever you have a team of three versus just uh, random players, they are a little more coordinated, even at lower ranks. So that's 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 good to see. Some communication. It's going to be an awkward play here. Looks like both players wanted to go. Go for a shot. It's going to bounce back. I got to be a little bit careful just to leave. Um, I cut off my teammate there just in case. Um, I didn't think they were either back. Either of them were back. So I kind of just, you know, cut it off. Good try. This guy does here. Does he have it? I think he does. I'm going to stay with this now and try to get a touch down the field. Those pinches are always really good because they get a big boom on the ball. And I'm going to look for bumps here. Big misses, though. And nice shot. That's a great chip. And it's pretty scary for him because, like, at that point, you can't really tell what's going on because there's a lot of players coming at the ball. Let's see if we can get close to the ball here whoa take this back corner boost he might seem to come in here first to get the clear great chip waiting for holing around holing d around i don't i don't am i missing the joke it's a decent touch see if you can make another one good pop mid maybe wow that's a really good pass that was a great pass. 
when players are flat footed and net like that, especially after he just made a touch, there's no way you can read a, 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 a clear cross, like 90 degree cross like that. It's pretty, pretty powerful. It can be scary if the opponents are ready for it. And as you get higher ranked, the, there are going to be players who are going to be seeing that. Um, and that's not going to be as viable. But still, still a great thing to be ready for. I'm just going to stay close to this. Like, see if he chips it. There we go. He like, kind of let go of the ball a little bit. So this might be a shot. Great finish. Great power. Flatter cars do have a lot more power on those quick shots like that when it's flat on the ground. Like, that's going to be a, a lot stronger than if you were in an octane. Going to go back right here. I'm just going to do a normal backup. I'm not sure if people are half flipping to them yet. That's a great shot from, from them. Big miss, though. I'll do a flick, see if they can go for it. Nice. Good try. I'm just waiting on the other side, just in case. I see my teammate pushing up, so I'm just going to back off. And nice finish. Honestly, my teammates are doing really well. They're finding each other. They're they're positioning really well. Being patient enough to make sure they're not being overcommitted. But also not so patient that they are out of the game like we had in a couple games earlier. Where players were being so patient that they could never involve themselves. But these guys are definitely getting more and more more and more involved. I'm just gonna sit back here. Big miss. And I'm just gonna finish that. It was so open that I feel like I should be rushing up for that. You shouldn't really be sitting so far away that you don't you don't capitalize on those opportunities. Once I saw two misses, I flipped forward and just got the open net. I'm trying my best. Big miss. That's a holy crap, man. That was so fast. What I'm doing there is just playing the win or the beat. I'm not actually shooting that on target. I'm just trying to play the touch around players. And you're going to see that more, more often in high level. Um, it's just people being faster to the ball than they can physically shoot the ball on target. But they're just playing the speed to keep players off of getting clears. Big boom. Waiting for... Get to the chopper. <laughs> gonna go for this. I am like, in a good position to go for this. You can see how long too that I have my flip timer. Like it's like I think it's like almost two seconds, like one and a half, I think, or one point seven five. And you kind of just get a feeling for for it. Like I know I still have it here, like that. Like there's so much time. People don't realize they have more time on the flip uh, flip timer than than. Uh, than they think. There is a lot of time. Like I can go pretty high and then still flip. I think it's a safe bet that you can basically get almost to the to the crossbar of the net in an aerial um, while still flipping. So if I show you here, as I jump here, I can still flip there. But if I try to go a little bit higher, now I don't have it. So it's like you can usually get a pretty decent high aerial to go for a, a, a great powerful shot at a height about the, the height of the crossbar. Something to think about if you ever like think that you need to double jump to a ball when there's space to like go for the direct shot. A flip into the ball is always going to be stronger than uh, a double jump, like just normal hit, right? So I'm hitting that off the sidewall instead of towards their their end because if I do go towards their end with that ball, I'm getting 50 into a bad spot. So right here, look at this power I can get out of that touch. I'm, I know it's high enough that I can still get a clear um, and not waste positioning. And also, like because of the way that I'm going towards the ball, even if my flip timer runs out, I'm still going to make contact. So it's not the end of the world, even if I don't. So like, here, I, I would do a double jump into this. Great save. Can I get it again? Ooh. That was an example of a place where I'm in a good position. All the opponents are, are panicking and backing off. I'm just going for some sort of touch towards the net and at this rank i feel like any solid aerials if you get really good practice at aerials you're going to outshine this rank if you can get consistent aerials you know go for those touches you're going to be in a good spot let's see if we can boom this down the field now this is a position where you probably want to go for like some sort of bump if the ball's on target Bit of a blowout game. I feel like I maybe did a little bit too much here and there in this game. 
Um, but also my opponents, my teammates played really well against the opponents because they, they were kind of ones carrying at the start. So here you can try to catch the ball too. If you don't have a good position on it, you can try to go up the wall with it and follow it. But you can definitely get a good possession on that. Just like catch the ball perfectly. Oh, the Brazil. Brazil. Had to do it for the fans. I I, uh, I feel bad because that was a bit more of a uh, blowout of a game. But, but I, I feel like my teammates had great pressure. Like they both played really, really, really solid in that game. Hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. That was a 3v3 match only episode. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about it. Let me know. I don't know if that was our diamond rank here. It might have been. Let's see. That was. We're diamond one. So not a bad little session there. We're getting closer to our rank in 2v2. Um, so we'll see if maybe the next episode we bring back both 2v2 and 3v3. Let me know what you guys want to see. But until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, free assassin. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait. That is just a 2% damage increase waiting to be used. Where is this guy? What? How'd you get up there? <laughs> what? Wasn't he just like here?